Hey guys, this is the one and only Sonic Ranger back with another video review of Epic Proportions and concluding wave 2 of the Deluxe Class figures to come on of Transformers Titans Return. Here is Highbrow with his Titan Master Zord. But before we get to the action figure at hand, let's remove him real quickly and bring in the packaging for the obvious reasons being. So, as you can see, there's the front, there's the back, and there it goes. Not much else to say there, so readjusting the camera and bringing back in the action figure, let's take a look at some other contents this figure does have to offer. So here's a trading card. Very nice. Very nice artwork. Very nice decapitation. Flip on this side. And there's the tech specs. And I cannot say these are very nice because look how weak this guy is. Even with Zork, it's not much power. So that's disappointing. He also does have a set of instructions, but that's to be expected with all Transformer figures. Because if they don't have instructions, then what the hell is wrong with you, Hasbro? Anyway, having said that, helicopter mode on Highbrow is... Pretty legit. It is a Cybertronian helicopter, so it's legit. It hits home base, right? Yeah, that's what they're going with here. So, uh, not much going on here. Not much to really talk about. The detail on it's pretty nice. Paint job is there. Very clean. It makes up for the fact that his Titan Master, just like the others of Wave 2, have hardly any paint at all. Except for the visor. It's painted silver. It's a very small paint job, but it looks very clean, and I do like that. Transformation, flip it like that, and there you go. There's the robot mode head for highbrow. Very nice paint job. Nice gun metal gray. Uh, nice gray. And nice dark grayish blue. Yeah. So there's that. What you can do is open up the little cockpit here. This is about as far back as it will actually go. So if you go any more beyond that, you might stress it. Bring the little Titan Master dude and, you know, try to get him to sit in there properly. Let's try that again. It's because I'm on camera, isn't it? Come on, Come on man. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just consider it like that. So close that up, and as you can see, very nice clear translucent red windows i mean you can see everything that's going on in there and you can see that he is sitting incorrectly but hey it works open it up get the little titan master dude out and we'll save him for later for transformation to robot mode one other thing to really talk about this figure while he does have landing gear it is done in a way that i am not too happy about so you have your front landing gear piece right here but then you also have these guns here that also apply to the landing gear. Having said that, you flip it on the side and you will notice something smells rotten in the state of Denmark. Look at where the wheels are for the landing gear. That's right, they're sitting flat on the wrong sides of where a landing gear usually works for a helicopter or anything out there. So, as you can see, I mean, it just, it doesn't make any sense, but hey, whatever, I didn't design the figure. They should actually be, taking this off real quickly for one second, they should be sitting like this, so I can show it off and get my finger out of the way. As you can see, that's how it should be. But no, it's this way, because of the way that it's designed. So, yeah, it doesn't really work. Having said that, also you will notice that there are these two tabs right here for this side, and this side doesn't have those two tabs, which means two things. One. These guns do combine for the Titan Master to stand in, which I'm not going to show off because it's ridiculous anyway. And two, it also means that this figure is always going to be leaning this way. So he's not sitting straight. He's leaning. You can notice it. You can see it. It's kind of difficult, but yeah, when you're up close and personal with this figure, you can see that, you know... It's hillside. He's going this way. Leaning this way. Yeah. So, whatever. You can also just take them off. And raise this up. And be done with it. You can do that if you so choose. So, anyway. That's about going to do that. Let's go ahead and get to robot mode. So, transformation is basically like this. Boop. We're done. 
No, I'm just kidding, but I'm just showing you he is all robot. Yeah. Kind of disappointing for a figure of this modern day and age. So let's go ahead and do this. So what you want to do is untab from here. Slide up these obvious arms for the figure. And we'll stop there for a moment. Flip back here so we can get to the bottom. And you want to separate this very difficult connection to disconnect. And these will be obviously his legs. So hinge him down. You can get this one to get out, hinge it down, rotate like so, come back here, and flip out the obvious hill spurs. Everything about this figure is obvious, and he's obviously pretty hollow on the back. No panels to close any of this up. It's always going to be revealing. Womp womp. Anyway, that's it. Slide this up, make sure it clicks, and then... Fold out the obvious hands. Everything's obvious. Just remember that. Flip out the obvious hand on this side too. So there's no clear connection. I mean, if you go too far in transformation, yeah, you will break his hand. See? See how it looks weird? It doesn't really, like I said, there's no clear connection. No, no stopping point. It just keeps going. So there's that. Uh, instructions say that you are to flip this out, this chest piece here with the Allbot insignia, about that far. I don't know why, I just go by the instructions, doesn't matter. They're not always right, but hey, whatever. Let's flip back the cockpit to the helicopter mode. It doesn't tab in anywhere, but it is on a very tight hinge, so it's going to stay in place no matter what. And that basically right there is robot mode. Except for one thing. Take the little Titan Master Zolt. And there you got this. Then you just slot him here. You just slot him here. And there we go. What's wrong with my accent? I didn't know. Flip up the camera some more so we can get a better shot of this guy. And there he is, highbrow. Yeah, he's okay. I'm not going to say anything bad about this guy. He is hollow, like I showed on the back. Again, there's no way to cover this up. He does have quite the backpack because of the transformation. But, uh, you know, it's legit. So, you know... He's a cool figure. Not in love with the guy. So he's no wolf wire. He's definitely no chrome dome. But for what he is, he's not bad. He does look pretty good. I mean, his robot mode is pretty spiffy. The paint job on him is pretty clean. And it's uh, it's standard. I mean, didn't cut any corners. Hasbro did a nice job. He added some additional blues and some yellows and some red here. And some more blues on the side here and on the back here. You got this gunmetal gray and gunmetal gray and some more red. And here's some gunmetal gray here for the propeller of the fin. And, you know, it, it works. It works. It just, it's a nice, nice work. Just, it's kind of bleh. And I'm not saying that. To hurt the figure, I'm just being honest. He's just plain. He's basic. Transformation, while it's kind of cool, it's also not really that fun. It's no chrome dome, and it's definitely no wolf wire. Having said that, let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison between those two, since I keep bringing up their names. So there you go. As you can see, Highbrow is actually taller than... Then Chrome Dome and Wolf Wire. So there you got that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the articulation on this guy because even if he is plain, he does have to have a fair amount of articulation, right? Not really. As you can see, my Titan Master has a loose head. So unfortunately, Highbrow suffers because of the Titan Master. He's got the very loose, wobbly, bobblehead syndrome. And turning the head of the Titan Master will not work on this figure because there will be no connection between the neck 
and the head which means it just comes on and off very easily and said so that back to the articulation we got ball jointed shoulders we got a hinge right here to allow more free range movement on the shoulders so there you got that we got upper elbow rotation not really a bicep because if it were a bicep it'd be about right here right next to this stripe but uh it's not there it's right here so upper elbow rotation single jointed elbows 90 degrees is all they can offer the hands fold in and out due to transformation so whatever no waist rotation due to transformation and this piece just went back in on itself there you go Boop. so uh legs go up go back they do go in and out on a nice ratchet joint there is thigh rotation as you can see it does go all the way around Single jointed knees, but due to transformation, you can get them way, way beyond 90 degrees, which is nice. And the last bit of articulation comes in the heel spur, which is on a hinge. It moves up and down, and that's due to transformation. Sadly, though, nothing at the feet. There's no hinge, there's no ball joint, there's no ankle rocker pivot, so no. Anyway enough about that let's go ahead and show off his blasters here which you saw are the landing gear for helicopter mode just this way instead of this way see 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 i didn't design the figure like i did mention because of these two tabs here and this two open slots here you can actually combine the two but i wouldn't try because last time i put some stress on this it is a very tight connection but yeah, you can if you want. And on this side, you can fit the little Titan Master in there. He doesn't sit. He actually stands. So it's just ridiculous. And that's the reason why I didn't show it off. But what you can really do, the main key feature about these guns here, is that you put them in his hand. Like so. And there you go. Now, he's got dual wielding blasters. So, pretty cool. But, sadly, that's all this figure has to offer out of that. No other accessories and not much else to really talk about. Can I recommend this figure? That is the tricky question. Because even though I do like this Transformer, I gotta say... It, it just doesn't really hit any key points to why I would love to say... Sure, by all means, go out and get this figure. But... He does have his charm, just nothing really special like Wolf Wire or Chrome Dome, so it kind of hurts the figure, unfortunately. But I guess I can still recommend him, as long as you don't turn him around and display him this way, because... Uh, <laughs> but uh, outside of that, he is a cool figure, and I guess he is a must-have. So, yeah, I've said my piece on this guy. Whether you agree with me or not, that's your choice, but hey... Leave your thoughts and opinions and your comments down below in the comment section of this video down below there. So, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And if you didn't like this video, well, I'll find something that you will like eventually. And if you haven't already, why not hit that subscribe button for more video reviews just like the one you're reviewing today from the reviewing station. This is the one and only Sonic Ranger signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you whenever you see me.